Hi, this is Robert from Part Fusion Electronics. This is a, a piece of a project from um, probably nearly five, four or five years ago. It was a design, an early prototype for an LED earring. So the basic idea is you've got an LED boost, sorry, a battery, CR2032, kind of a boost converter, AT Tiny, 84 and an array of LEDs and as you turn it on then it would kind of show some patterns or effect based on movement or some if you added some sensors in so I kind of liked this idea the the cost was potentially looking a little high the the battery look felt a little bit big and then the LEDs in this case were, were quite bright. I think these are about half a milliamp or one milliamp each, which is actually quite dis a distracting light level if you're looking at somebody who has this close to the face. So actually I, I probably could adjust this to have a, a much lower current light and still have quite a reasonable effect. So I kind of just put this to bed. As I said, the, the price was looking maybe a little bit too high and I just moved on to some other project. But I was reminded of this um, and some other projects when I kind of saw that the prices of, um, this is a supercapacitor, have come down to be quite a reasonable cost now. It's, so you can get these on AliExpress for about a dollar each. So this is a 5.5 a volt, 0 0.33 farad, um, supercapacitor so I, I'm thinking that maybe I could replace the battery in this type of circuit with using something like a, um, this supercapacitor or something similar so, so tonight what I was going to do was um, experiment with charging up making up a little kind of circuit board charging up the supercapacitor and see what the kind of maybe how long it lasts um, so if we do some kind of basic calculations so if we take our um, power source here we need to have a resistor and then we need to have our kind of supercapacitor. And because this is a 5.5, we can use um, USB readily available. We can actually make a USB um, compatible connector onto a, a printed circuit board. So you can have a printed circuit board with this on, on board and plug it straight in to your USB charger have it as a portable device um, using a laptop or your kind of power brick, power bank. So this is 5.5 volts at a 0 0.33 farads. So we need to kind of spec out the the resistor value so that's kind of ohm's law um, so the standard um, current coming off um, a usb kind of starts off without any kind of complicated circuitry you can get 100 milliamps or like 0 0.1 amps out of your um, one amps out of your USB port and we have so that's a five volts five volts there so we it's, it's so that's or ohms law or equals V over I so our volts is five volts our current is 0 0.1 amps so then we need a 50 ohm 
resistor to spec out that part there. And if we um, we configure it how much how long it will take to charge the super cap then with that current so the the form is t for time in seconds capacitance over capacitance by volts over current so that's um 0 0.3 multiplied by 5 or 0 0.1 what was that calculation and that was m um, 16.5 seconds So if I look at what I'm going to do now is I'm going to solder up a simple um, strip board. I have a USB micro USB connector here. I'm going to solder that to the strip board. It's a surface mount, so that it's kind of nice little USB header that it only has the ground and power pins connected through. It's relatively easy to solder up. So if we measure the, the voltage across this, it says basically reading is zero. Um, when I I don't have the, the exact data sheet for this component, but the similar ones are showing that this kind of bottom one here is the five volts. So let's place that in there. Let's just connect it up and see what happens. So this should take about 16 seconds to charge up. Okay, I think it's then uh, it should be fully charged or four point six volts. So now we can use that to um, light up an LED. So if we get another resistor, if we go in um, around a 220 ohm resistor, We're lighting up. So 
so we can actually can check what current is flowing through the LED if we connect that out. I wonder if it started to, to the brightness levels have started to change. on the milliamp port. So about five and a bit milliamps and falling. Because the, the voltage drop across the, or the voltage across the, um, the super cap should be changing too. So the 4.6 started and it's now down to three so eventually go back to the milliamp setting once the um, voltage drops about below two volts the um, the LED should go below its um, voltage drop or the required voltage drop to light up seems to be dimming a little bit here in person is quite directional so the the main lighting is is pointing directly at the the camera Check the voltage again. So this is um, a continuous um, load. Like if this was a flashing LED, you know, on off, on off, on off, you'd kind of double the run time. So the thing about the 1.8 volts is we still have about um, two fifths of our, or nearly like 40% of our of the capacity of our um, LED is still, or sorry, of our super cap is still there. So that was the idea of, you know, using the um, the boost converter here. That al allows us to go below the, to take the the voltage or to use up much more of the capacity of the battery by boosting up the voltage to something that's more usable the dimness here is, is almost certainly mostly related to the the voltage drop if, if we had more um, you know one milliamp with a higher voltage should I would imagine be brighter I think that's something I'll look into the next time I'm, the next evening I'm playing with this. I have um, 
I, I have ordered and received some um, a, a new boost converter chip um, and that's another capacitor that's able to take the any a voltage up down to one volt so get another 20% of the capacity out of the um, the battery you know take out uh, maybe another five or ten minutes to the runtime of, the, of a, a finished piece um, okay I think I said I'll leave that for the, this evening um, and I'm come back to you hopefully next week with a an updated version. Thank you.